Story title, After 27 Years She Wants to Change Our Relationship. Fine by me, just not with me. My wife, Beth, and I are 50. Three kids youngest one just graduated and started new job in May. Been married 27 years, two kids are married, the daughter is five months pregnant with one ST grandchild. This past Friday family celebrated Beth's 50 years birthday. She was stay-at-home mom until about 13 years ago. She started a career has been done in great, we are almost equal in pay. We are not rich, still a mortgage but life is comfortable. Saturday I was finishing my breakfast. She sits down across from me and says, I need to tell you something, she pauses. I am like okay what is it? Taking a deep breath and says, I am going to start having intimate with other men. I just stare waiting for a smile to crack. None. I ask her to repeat it. She does still no smile. Now I am what the hell does that mean? She goes on to explain for the last 10 years, she has had the pact with herself, the kids will be gone, job is good, our life is good, she wants to do this for herself. Again what the hell? We were married in our early 20s, each other's only partners, she feels she missed out. Now that she is 50 she wants this new life. She wants the marriage opened up. I asked if I had any say. She sighed nope, she hoped I would look elsewhere also. But she wants to stay married. Now I am going apeshit, I am yelling, crying, sobbing, all the emotions of betrayal. I asked if I did anything to cause this, she replied no all her. I left the house to drive nowhere. I called her best friend from childhood, Claire. She confirmed they had talked about this off and on over the years. They have a group of friends, they do their girls night out etc. Two are single, for married, the two singles delight the group with their exploits. Claire says they all have a yearning but Beth is the only one following through. I should point out I will be talking to Claire's husband, we are good friends. So I have no one to talk to about this. Parents on both sides are alive in their late 70s, I called my brother 1000 miles away. He was blown away, no advice. I did call a lawyer on Monday, we'll meet him next week. In the meantime he advised not to move out, change locks, or change living arrangements as that could come back to bite me. He said take lots of notes, and above all no physical confrontation. That would not be a problem. Sunday I went in for round two. I asked if she was going to date these guys, she replied no just physical relation. How were they to meet? She said, a girlfriend was to set her up on sites. I was worried about her safety, some girlfriends would be close by on initial meetup. They would also know where and when the hookup would take place. Has anyone got advice or heard of something like this? I took Monday off from work to collect my thoughts but that didn't work. She is just going about her life unfazed by this. Further update. My wife and I calmed down on Sunday to discuss this mess. I had been avoiding her all week, until I could get my head around it. We took a drive in the car, something we like to do for like three hours. My wife started out apologizing for how she presented this to me. She had been rehearsing on what to say. When it came time to inform me, it just spilled out of her mouth all wrong. She wanted to bring up now that kids are grown and on their own, she would like us to make changes in our lives. She went on about not having other sexual partners etc. What she wanted to propose was that we have an open relationship, where we both would seek out others. I told her that I would not, and could not do this. I reminded her of the vows before God, family, and friends we took on fidelity. I told her how she had violated the trust that I had for her. Look I understand what she is feeling. I know she wants new experiences. I told her our plan as we had discussed many times in the past, once the kids were out that we would travel a bit. Maybe take up new hobbies, maybe some education classes etc. We never had a discussion about this. I told her because of the breach of trust and her steadfastly stating she is going to do this. I was seeing a lawyer on Tuesday to start divorce proceedings. At this point, if she said she would not go through with this, I do not think she could be cheating at some point. That is where the trust comes in. I think divorce is proper, she can do her thing no guilt can be associated. I think equal division of assets, I expect to make no support payments, did not know if it was a thing in our state, found it's not. We will have to sell the house and each downsize. We actually had a good talk, papers are being drawn, we hope to get through this by fall. I did talk to each kid individually, explained we are going separate ways. Did not mention the lifestyle change. They can talk to their mom themselves, I will always love my wife, I will take the high road. 
I know many of you wanted scorched earth, but I cannot do that, it's not me. I do want to address a couple comments someone posted, on the update on the other sub. They thought I was trying to manipulate her into staying by using the marriage vows. I got to say that my religious upbringing has set my morals that I live by. This works for me. There are some that say it's the 21st century no one lives that way anymore. There are many things I see others do, and say that I do not agree with, but I do not try to impose my morals on them, and conversely you should not denigrate what I believe. Remember my wife and I believed the same for close to 30 years, only recently has she made a change. I never held her down she was always free to chose. I believe in God and believe in my vows before him. Sorry enough soapbox. Last I want to thank all of your kind replies, I was overwhelmed. I only wish I could have replied to each and every one. Thank you for letting me talk this out.